How's it going, people? Last bottle of hip ale out of Humboldt. It's magically delicious. I got this shirt at a Goodwill in, uh, oh, St. Paul. Uh, just before catching my flight back. And, um, so, not a huge Jägermeister fan, but in honor of the shirt, <laughs> I stuck this in the freezer. And, uh, we'll have that for shots. All right, not yet. Okay, let's see. Put it right over there. <sighs> Chapter 26 of Alma. All right, now we're getting to uh, his, Alma Jr.'s commandments of his sons and the next two chapters are pretty much devoted to uh, Helaman. Alma recounts his sinful past, his miraculous conversion, and his subsequent zeal in the ministry, which was detailed back in, ooh, yeah, Mosiah, I think it's 2711, if that's the right footnote I'm looking at. Um, Anyhow, we're going to get a repetition of the story, but it's worth hearing again, especially in light of the way he treated uh, um, Corey Hoare, the apostate. One, this is Alma Jr. talking to Helaman, the author of the next book. My son, give ear to my words. For I swear unto you that inasmuch as ye shall keep the commandments of God, ye shall prosper in the land. Two, I would that ye should do as I have done in remembering the captivity of our fathers, for they were in bondage, and none could deliver them except it was the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, same God, uh, <laughs> and the God of Jacob. Boy, wouldn't that be confusing to, like, aliens if they were biggest book? How many gods are there? <laughs> no, three in one, like the bicycle chain oil. <laughs> Just less useful. <laughs> and he surely did deliver them in their afflictions. Three. And now, O oh my son Helaman, behold, thou art in thy youth, and therefore I beseech of thee that thou, that thou wilt hear my words and learn of me. Because he speaks so pretty. <laughs> and learn of me. For I do know that whosoever shall put their trust in God shall be supported in their trials and their troubles and their afflictions and shall be lifted up at the last day. <laughs> For, and I would not that ye think that I know of myself not of the temporal, but of the spiritual. Not of the carnal mind, but of God. Five. Now behold, I say unto you, if I had not been born of God, I should not have known these things. Yeah, good thing your daddy was high up. 
high priest, judge of the land, all that shit. <laughs> but let's get to the move on, because this is really amazing. Let's hear all over again about our wonderful Alma Jr., this great prophet of old, supposedly. Yeah. Now, behold, I say unto you that uh, if I had not been born of God, I should not have known these things, but God has, by the mouth of his holy angel, made these things known unto me, not of any worthiness of myself. Yeah, but boy was he judgmental of a uh, quarry whore. I mean, what's up with this Alma Jr. and Apostle Paul, these guys who don't seek salvation, are enemies of God, and they don't repent, and they're chosen, and then they repent, because they know they better. God, I mean, if that happened to anybody, they'd be a believer. Just these special cases, huh? Talk about nepotism, <laughs> at least with this uh, Alba Jr., Six, for I went about with the sons of Mosiah, seeking to destroy the church of God. But behold, God sent his holy angel to stop us by the way. See, they didn't ask. They're like, fuck God. Oh, I'm a Christian now. <laughs> Thanks. Seven, and behold, he spake unto us as it were the voice of thunder. And, hang on. Oh, I needed that. And the whole earth did tremble beneath our feet. And we all fell to the earth, for the fear of the Lord came upon us. 8. But behold, the voice said unto me, Arise, and I arose, and stood up, and beheld the angel. 9. And he said unto me, If thou wilt of thyself be destroyed, Seek no more to destroy the church of God. Again, and it came to pass. Ooh, wow. Wow. I don't know, man. See, I bought a little one. <laughs> This is all right, once in a while. The guy at Bebmo tells me it's cough syrup in Germany. Ten. And it came to pass that I fell to the earth, right after he told him to get up. <laughs> get up! All right. Ow! Just wanted to knock you back down, biatch. That I fell to the earth. And it was for the space of three days and three nights. Like Jesus in the grave, almost. Or Jonah in the, inside the belly of that big fish or whale. Depends on if you believe the Old Testament or Jesus. <laughs> it can't be. It's got to be one or the other, though. And isn't it funny that they call it by two different, completely different species? that I could not, uh, yeah, for three days and three nights, that I could not open my mouth, neither had I the use of my limbs. Eleven. 
And the angel spake more things unto me, which were heard by my brethren. But I did not hear them. For when I heard the words, If thou wilt be destroyed of thyself, seek no more to destroy the church of God. Please. <sighs> Just go quietly. <laughs> that last good night. Uh, I was struck with such great fear and amazement, lest perhaps I should be destroyed. And I fell to the earth, and I did hear no more. Twelve. Godzilla soundtrack. Twelve. But I was racked with eternal torment for a space of three days. Eternal, but only three days long. Three days and three nights. Let's give him some credit. Eternal. We're waxing poetic, aren't we? Eternal torment, for my soul was harrowed up to the greatest degree and racked with all my sins. Thirteen. Yay! I did remember all my sins and iniquities with the pains of hell. Yay! I saw that I had rebelled against my God and that I had not kept his holy commandments. Fourteen. Yea, and I had murdered many of his children. Or rather, Oh, wait, maybe he didn't really kill anybody. Hang on. Or rather, led them away unto destruction. Oh, what kind of destruction? Uh, yea, and in fine so great had been my iniquities that the very thought of coming into the presence of my God did rack my soul with ex inexpressible horror. Fifteen. So leading a bunch of people away is it equals murdering them. <coughs> really? Think about that one. Fifteen. Oh, thought I that I could be banished and become extinct. Both soul and body. Both of them. <laughs> that I might not be brought to stand in the presence of my God. To be judged of my deeds. Sixteen. And now, for three days and for three nights was I racked even with the pains of a damned soul. So, verse 16 didn't really seem very necessary, don't you think? It's just a repetition of, uh, what is it, uh, yeah, 12. <laughs> just phrased a little differently. <sighs> 17. And it came to pass. This ain't half bad, actually. Haven't had it in years. Uh, smooth. Better than I remember. And it came to pass that I was thus racked with torment 
while I was harrowed up by the memory of my many sins. That sounds kind of repetitious there, too. Behold, I remembered also to have heard my father prophecy unto the people concerning the coming of one son of of one Jesus Christ, a son of God, a son of God, not the son of God, a son of God. Interesting. The coming of one Jesus Christ. A Son of God, to atone for the sins of the world. But he might not be the only one, huh? That explains that Bar Jesus character. Uh, yeah, he, he's going to, like, forgive everybody by dying. Isn't that wonderful? 18. Now, as my mind caught hold upon this thought, I cried within my heart, O oh, Jesus, Thou Son of God, have mercy on me, who am in the gall of bitterness, and am encircled about by the everlasting chains of death. 19. And now behold, when I thought this, I could remember my pains no more. Yay! I was harrowed up by the memory of my sins no more. 20. Where was I? 20. And, oh, what joy and what marvelous light I did behold. Yay! My soul was filled with joy as exceeding as my pain. Okay. 21. Yay! I say unto you, my son, <laughs> that there could be nothing so exquisite and so bitter as were my pains. <laughs> Yay! And uh, again, I say unto you, my son, that on the other hand, there can be nothing so, so exquisite and sweet as my joy. 22. Yay, me thought, which is a lot more archaic sounding than I think. Yay, me thought I saw, even as our father Lehi saw. God sitting upon his throne, surrounded by numberless concourses of angels, so we're recycling shit again, from earlier on. God. We did a redacted uh, Book of Mormon, <laughs> where we just took out all repetition and rip-offs. It would be the pamphlet of Mormon. Not even the booklet of Mormon, it'd be the pamphlet. Although it might be classified as a mediocre novella. <laughs> nice try. Yeah. Numberless concourses of angels in the attitude of singing and praising their God. Yay! And my soul did long to be there in magic land. Never, never land. 23. And behold, my limbs did receive their strength again. <clears throat> and I stood upon my feet and did manifest unto the people that I had been born of God. 
24. Yay! And from that time, even until now, I have labored without ceasing, that I might bring souls unto repentance, that I might bring them to taste of the exceeding joy of which I did taste. <laughs> that I might bring them to taste of the exceeding joy which I did taste, that they might also be born of God and be filled with the Holy Ghost. 25. Yay! And now behold, O oh my son, the Lord doth give me exceeding great joy in the fruit of my labors. 26. For because of the word which he has imparted unto me, behold, many have been born of God, and have tasted as, as I have tasted, and have seen eye to eye, as I have seen. Therefore they do know of these things of which I have spoken, as I do know, and the knowledge which I have is of God. 27. And I have been supported under tri trials and troubles of every kind. Yay! And in full manner of afflictions. Yay! God has delivered me from prison and from bonds and from death. Yea, and I do put my trust in him, but you don't capitalize him. And he will deliver me. 28. And I know that he will raise me up at the last day to dwell with him in glory. Yea, and I will praise him forever. For he, <laughs> has brought our fathers out of Egypt, and he has swallowed up the Egyptians in the Red Sea, and he led them by his power into the Promised Land, yea, and he has delivered them out of bondage and captivity from time to time, when he's got the time. 29. Yea, and he has also brought our fathers out of the land of Jerusalem, and he has also, by his everlasting power, delivered them out of bondage and captivity from time to time, even down to the present day. Uh, about B.C. 73. And I have always retained in remembrance their captivity, yea. And ye also ought to retain in remembrance, as I have done, their captivity. 30. But behold, my son, this is not all. Goody, goody. For ye ought to know, as I do know, that inasmuch as ye shall keep the commandments of God, ye shall prosper in the land. And ye ought to know also that inasmuch as ye will not keep the commandments of God, ye shall uh, be cut off from his presence. Now, this is according to his word. That's it for 36. That was a useless chapter. <laughs> that was just a bunch of repetition so his son could hear this shit. Right. Written on gold. But maybe not everything is that shines is gold, right? Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.